Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Fitness Friday. I'm Erica Fernandez, and I'm here today with Tracy Granada. Tracy, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks, Erica. So a lot of times, we focus on a lot of different elements of fitness, but one topic we don't really touch on very much is fitness and pregnancy. Now, I know that you are 17 weeks pregnant. Yeah. Um, so tell me a little bit about how can somebody stay active during their, uh, their entire pregnancy? Yeah, so I think most physicians would obviously, if you've cleared it with your doctor first, it's always important to consult with your physician before you start any exercise program or you continue. But I think a majority of physicians would agree that just staying active during pregnancy will help you have a healthier pregnancy throughout, whether it's light, easy walking or strength training, or yes, you can still even do some core work. And I think you know, most women are afraid to do anything that involves their core because they're like, I'm growing a human inside yeah, of me. Yeah. Um, but as your body changes and we become heavier on the front side, a lot of us will experience some lower back pain throughout pregnancy. And it's important that we control or contain that, that midsection and right. keep it strong so that the aches and pains are minimalized. Like I said, as long as you've cleared it with your physician first and ahead of time. Right. So what are some of the benefits of being active during your pregnancy? Yeah, benefits are you're less likely to have aches and pains during pregnancy, of course. I think um, labor and delivery will be a little bit easier if you have the strength in your muscles, especially right. the core, you know, to be able to push that baby out. And then recovery afterwards. I know with my first pregnancy, I ended up having a C-section. And my recovery after, I think because I did stay so active, was remarkable. I had the strength in my muscles and I just, you know, was just able to bounce back so much quicker because I did stay active throughout, so. All right, so let's go ahead and show me a few exercises we can do. Yeah, perfect. We're gonna focus on core exercises that are safe and effective all three trimesters during pregnancy. Okay. Um, during that third trimester, we're actually gonna start down, but during that third trimester, we of course wanna avoid things on our back because it puts so much pressure on the arteries going through that midsection that we just want to avoid that. So starting seated, we're gonna warm up that midsection first today, Erica, and I want you to place your hands right here on your rib cage. And we're gonna start off doing some lateral breathing. Five deep breaths in, where you're expanding the rib cage out and then coming back in. So inhale, expanding that rib cage, warming up that midsection, then exhale, blow it out, contract that midsection. So inhaling, Expand that rib cage, you should feel those ribs open up and then exhale, they are closed. Good, and so you'll take yourself through that five times. Then from there, we're gonna transition over onto our elbows and forearms, onto our knees. And from here, we're gonna go into a movement, what we call a traditional hover, okay. um, which is great for front side strengthening, that's safe um, and effective. Elbows under your shoulders right here, you're on your knees, you're gonna take one step back and then take another step back with the other foot. And you're just gonna keep a space between your chest, your belly, and the floor, squeezing your quads, squeezing your glutes. Now, of course, if we need to, I'm just gonna go to the side so you can see. If you need to, you can drop down to your knees, still keeping a space between your chest and the floor, your belly and the floor, but you're really feeling this all throughout that front right. Um, half right there. Right. So that's a hover. I suggest holding it 30 seconds up to a minute okay. as long as you can hold it. It's perfect. Feeling good about it. Awesome. Then the third movement I wanna do with you today is called a side hover, targeting your waistline and the obliques here. And this one, let's go down on your left elbow. Lay on your left side. Um, extend your right leg and bend that left knee. Right there, you're going to lift your hip up off the floor keeping that bottom knee supported. Again, a space between your hip and the floor. Shoulders are stacked, chest is open. And it, you can hold this again for 30 seconds or so, and then you can relax. Now, if we wanna make this a little bit harder, yeah. challenge yourself and come back up, keeping that knee on the floor, but this time lift that top leg and extend that top arm and actually bring the knee into the elbow and okay. pull in. Perfect. And you're actually gonna crunch that waistline as you reach and extend, still keeping a space, and you're gonna really feel it yeah. in your abs I right there, that, closest yeah, to the floor. See, these are effective for the pregnant yeah. and the non-pregnant. Yeah, you, I don't think you have to be pregnant to do these. <laughs> so what are a couple um, maybe tips or advice that you can give pregnant women exercises for them to avoid during their pregnancy? Yeah, so exercises to avoid, like I said, really is the anything that's on our back. So especially during that third trimester where you're really putting a lot of pressure on the artery leading up to the heart, one of those main arteries. 
Um, it would be the crunches. It would be anything that's really just laying on the back. Your leg drops. Um, again, consult with your physician if you have questions about safe and unsafe and is this okay for me to do. But really the one things that we do want to avoid are the things on our back as we get into that third trimester. Okay, perfect. And I know a lot of times, sometimes people are afraid to work out during their pregnancy because they don't want to harm the baby, but it's definitely safe and probably actually beneficial during their pregnancy. Yeah, the benefits are huge if it's safe and okay for you to do it. Perfect. Um, and it's cleared with your physician. You got the A-OK. -okay. There's lots of different things that we can do. Um, to stay active, you know, like I said, the walking and the yeah. light strength training, dumbbells are still okay, using your body weight is still okay, um, and of course the core work that we just went through is a-okay. All right, perfect. So don't be afraid to stay active during your pregnancy. All right, thank you so much and congratulations again oh, on your baby. Stay tuned because sports is next with John Scheidler.